Hey, namaste fellow shinobi, Wolfgore here. And as I have done before, I wanted to find the best, most definitively awesome farming route for you guys in Sekiro. So what I am doing today is pitting the best two farming routes that I found in the endgame against each other head to head. First things first, we're going to grab the Bell Demon debuff. You don't have to do this, but it is going to get you some more rare items, which even if you don't need them, you can sell to the vendor in the dilapidated temple for a little bit of extra gold. So we're going to be farming these blue squid boys here. Uh, in addition to the blue samurai in the Fountainhead Palace, the specific idol location we're heading to is the flower viewing stage. So just to run around, take out that squid boy to the left, immediately turn back to the right and hop onto the roof here. Sneak up behind this blue samurai with the spear, take it out. And then rather than taking out that archer there in the middle, we are going to run over to the back of the roof and take out the far archer. If you take out the one in the middle first, it is going to aggro this archer right here. And you will have to fight it, which can just add a little bit of time and a little bit of irritation. So do it in that pattern and it'll make your life just a little bit easier. Now from here, we're going to run back to the start and we're going to take out the one and only purple samurai in this area. Now you definitely don't want to fight this thing head to head, it is significantly stronger than the blues and it yields twice as much experience at 1060 per kill, very good. Take out these two blue squid boys, 530 XP each, and you will notice that I am not looting the gold yet, I am using the Maibu Balloon of Wealth uh, looting method where you pop one at the end and run back through and pick up all the gold that way, it is going to get you a bit more bang for your buck, but you don't have to do it that way. Now we're going to wait for these three to patrol past. We're going to sneak up and take out one of these blue samurai. We're going to use the Blood Mist Nenjutsu to make our life just a little bit easier. Take out this guy. And you can see Squid Boy doesn't even aggro. Just run up and give him a good old R1. Now we got one more Squid Boy around this corner. And then we're going to turn uh, 180 and take out the first blue Squid Boy of three standing on these bridges in this room. But we're not going to take out the rest. We're going to run back this direction, take out this guy, and this squid boy. And the pattern does look a little complex, but you will get used to it with just a few attempts. Take out this squid boy, and then you will have to fight this blue samurai. And the thing that I really liked about this run is that it is surprisingly consistent. You, you know, there's a lot of mobs in a small space, but I did this run about 15 times and was able to execute it perfectly 95% of the time. Uh, you do have to be careful of the debuff that the blue squid boys put on you because it will basically insta-kill you. So this is kind of a high risk, high reward run, but that's okay. Now that red squid boy did aggro earlier, which is just fine. And he ends up in that same position every time right next to the blue squid boy, so we can just take them both out with one hit. And then we're just going to kill these two blue samurai. Uh, one is going to follow us around the corner, and then we're just going to hug this wall and wait for the second blue samurai to walk up and assassinate her. There is some slight variation here. Sometimes these samurai behave differently, but typically you can separate them and kill them very easily, even if you don't get those free assassinations. Take out the second to last squid boy, and finally the final squid boy, and go ahead and pop your Maibu Balloon of Wealth, and we're just going to run back through the zone from one corner to the other, treating it like a square, and then we're going to go to the far corner and then run back to the start and reset. Okay, let's talk numbers. So the Palace Farm is going to give you 11,204 XP per clear. That's a four minute clear. So you can do about 15 of these per hour. That's gonna give you 168,000 XP per hour. The gold is gonna be about 3,250 per clear for a total of almost 49,000 gold per hour. Now these are some really, really good numbers, but believe it or not, we can do better than this. For our second farm, we are going to head over to the Ashina outskirts, specifically the outskirts wall stairway, and we are going to be farming the red samurai here. So go ahead and grapple up onto this watchtower directly next to the idol. Stab this red samurai, hop down, and take out the red samurai directly below the watchtower. Then you're going to run up and take out this red boy up ahead of us and there are going to be two more red samurai directly up ahead patrolling up the stairs. Just take out the one in the back and the second one usually will aggro. Just take him out with some R1s. Easy peasy. Now let's talk about the numbers for this run. It is a 40 second clear 
that yields 3,972 XP per clear. That's a total of 320,000 XP per hour. Insane. That is double what we were getting in the palace farm. The gold is 692 per clear. For a 40 second clear, that is 55,000 gold per hour. Hot damn, if you were looking for easy XP and gold, this is the place to do it. But I recommend giving both of them a try, just if nothing else, because killing the same five mobs over and over again gets old. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And if you're interested in joining the Twitch fam, there are links to my Twitch page down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you here next time. Bye!